Hi, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne. I've got a ministry online where uh, I've written 55 Christian books that are on Amazon that are 99 cents. For three years, I've been uh, writing and self-publishing a book costing me about 2,000 Australian dollars a month. For three years, I moved out of that and started evangelising for about two hours a day in a Christian cafe. And apart from that, I uh, do personal prophecy requests and uh, prophetic blueprints, which are comprehensive 30-minute uh, uh, destiny scrolls over people's lives, uh, mentioning about nine or ten things that God has called them to do with their life. And they're pretty overwhelming when you get one or if uh, you look at uh, the uh, playlist on my website and look at former uh, Destiny Scrolls, uh, former prophetic blueprints, you'll find that they're, they're very comprehensive. So I've been moving in the prophetic for about 20 years. I've been in the Office of Prophet for about eight uh, and uh, things are going really well. This uh, short video, I'm going to uh, share some things about the prophetic uh, and prophetic evangelism. I've been moving in prophetic evangelism for 20 years. Uh, for uh, at least 20 years, I've been walking up to strangers and introducing myself and uh, giving them a prophetic word over their life. Different to the United States here in Australia, where I live, uh, only 5% of the population actually go to church each week. So uh, in the States, it's like 40% of people go to church or something like that. Uh, only 5% of the people in Australia go to church. I'd say only about 5% of churchgoers are really on fire for God. And so it's a really small percentage, like one-tenth of 1% 1 of Christians that are on fire in Australia. It's really uh, almost a heathen nation, isn't it? Uh, so uh, my uh, ground is different uh, to America. Uh, there's like a 50% chance in America that you'd be prophesying over someone who grew up in church or has a good understanding of the Christian faith. In Australia, there's a 95% chance that uh, you're speaking over someone that doesn't attend church and hasn't got any personal grid. So uh, in Australia, I've got to take a different approach. Uh, the Holy Spirit gave me a line about 15 years ago, and uh, the introduction line is I walk up to a person who's standing or doing something or talking to a friend, and I'll, I'll walk up to them and I'll say, excuse me, I've got a gift. And from time to time, that gift allows me to get a message for a person. Today, I've got a message for you. And that doesn't mention God, that doesn't mention I'm a Christian and a person's defences hasn't gone up and uh, they think that a clairvoyant or a psychic has uh, approached them and they're going to get a free message, so very open to that. And so I launch into uh, one or two or three uh, words of knowledge about their character. I'll say that uh, you're a very honest person. In fact, sometimes you're so honest that uh, you feel guilty the times that you can't tell the truth to a person because they ask a question that's going to cause them a lot of hurt if uh, you tell them the answer. But uh, you're so honest and you really hold yourself highly uh, to a high state of honesty and that makes you a really beautiful person. It can be lonely uh, being honest because some people aren't as truthful with you uh, when you're like that. Do you find that? And they say, yeah. And uh, so another thing I see about you is you're a really giving person. You've got so much love and compassion for people that uh, you readily share your money, you readily share your time, and you're just so giving in any way that you can. Of course, you can't give to everybody, but you're a very giving person that makes you uh, very beautiful. And by the time I'm on to the third word of knowledge, they say, this is amazing. This is amazing, clairvoyant, amazing psychic. And then I'll go on to mention that God gives me uh, the information and the knowledge and God really loves them. And I'll leave them with that. Now, uh, from time to time, the Holy Spirit will lead me uh, to lead them in a sinner's prayer, but it's not as often as uh, you may think. Uh, 
I went out evangelizing with my pastor doing this for about six months and we led about five people to the Lord over six months. But we did about 10 each night. So uh, there was uh, probably about 20 nights. So out of 200 people, we led five people to the Lord. Uh, I wrote a, a comprehensive book about that called Prophetic Evangelism Made Simple uh, 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 seed sowing, or uh, I forget the name of the title. I've got 55 books, so I forget them. In the description tag where you see, see more underneath my name, uh, I'll have a link to the Prophetic Evangelism book. Now, the thing I want to teach today is that uh, sometimes I can be so under the anointing that I can have a 100% anointing that uh, what I say 100% anointing is I can look across a room full of people and see words of knowledge, character traits, good character traits about everyone that I'm looking at. Now, when I can see words of knowledge on everyone that I'm looking at, that means I could walk up uh, and give a prophetic word to everybody. And uh, the first top few times that happened in my life, it's a supernatural act. It's an empowerment from the Holy Spirit. Uh, the first time, so I, I did about 20 prophetic words in an hour. I was just having so much fun walking up to people and prophesying to them. Uh, but today, uh, the Lord is taking me into a new level. When I'm anointed and I start to get that 100% anointing, it's, uh, I forget the name of the pool, but when Jesus uh, went into that pool uh, where the angel used to stir the water and the first person in used to get healed, Jesus only picked one person out of the whole room of people that have been living there. I think the person he healed had been there for 20 years. So they're pretty committed people that want to be healed. They live. Uh, I don't know how they go to the toilet, but they, they lived next to that pool hoping to be healed. And uh, they're really committed that they live there or, or were placed there all day uh, and uh, waited for the healing. I don't know how often the angels stirred the pool, but they're certainly committed. Uh, some people would say, how could Jesus walk into a place and uh, only heal one person? And uh, that's a mystery. And uh, uh, scripture says God's ways are above man's ways and who can understand them. And uh, so uh, this is what I want to illustrate today, that just because your gift can see prophetic words over people doesn't mean that God is calling you to give a prophetic word over the person. You remember Jesus said that he only does what he sees his father doing. In other words, he is to see his whole days planned out in visions before he started the day. And uh, one way to explain that is visions that he saw. Another way is to say he was directed in everything he did by the Holy Spirit. And uh, so today I was seeing words of knowledge on people but the Holy Spirit was directing not that person, not that person, not that person. So what do you do when you see something good about a person, when you, uh, your gift can see something to encourage the person? You can pray for that person. You can pray for their heart. You can pray into what you see. <coughs> or you can learn from experience. You can actually go up to the people and the prophetic word not really work and be as effective as uh, as most of your prophetic words, uh, they can still have effect and you still encourage people, uh, but you, you really need to learn to be led by the Holy Spirit. For years, many of the years I've just been led, I've, I've seen a person, I've singled a person out and I've got a word of knowledge on a person and that would be a sign out of all the people in a uh, eat, eatery, a, a place where people are eating, I'd only have one person stand out and I'd get a word of knowledge for them. And that was a clear signal of the Holy Spirit, go and give them a prophetic word. Uh, but when you see a word of knowledge on everyone in the room, who do you go up to? And uh, should you go up to all of them? And uh, what do you do? And uh, so that's what I want to teach on, that uh, when you develop a, a powerful uh, prophetic gift, uh, your gift, can go before you. Your gift can open doors. Your gift can be used powerfully. Uh, it can be used in a manipulative way. And when you're new to the prophetic and you've got a Jezebel spirit in you, 
Uh, you'll use your prophetic gift in a manipulative way. Uh, many people even, you know, I even uh, ask for a donation for my prophecies, but some people uh, like ask for hundreds and thousands of dollars for prophecies and big seed sowing uh, things, sow a thousand dollar seed and you'll get this really good prophecy and all this sort of stuff. They use their gift in a dishonest way. Uh, so you can, uh, when you're gifted, you can use your gift, but you can be in the flesh using your gift. Uh, your gift can be powerful. So uh, today the Lord was teaching me, even though I can see things and like things and like the character traits that I see in people, that uh, I need to be led uh, by him. I need to only approach and only give prophetic words to people that he calls me to give prophetic words to. So prophetic evangelism is great. I uh, encourage uh, people uh, to learn about prophetic evangelism, uh, to uh, walk in prophetic evangelism, to walk it out, uh, to practice it. I encourage you uh, to buy my book. It's 99 cents. Uh, uh, I'd even, uh, if uh, you didn't have 99 cents and you wrote me an email and gave me a uh, uh, Amazon log on email. I'll even send you a free copy of my book. I want you to read my book. I want you to learn. I want you to prophesy. I want you to be very good. I wrote the book after I'd done uh, prophetic evangelism 15,000 times. It wasn't a book I wrote to make money. In fact, none of my books have ever made me the money back that I spent on the books. My book ministry the ministry i was running for three years and writing books and still is my ministry it's a ministry to equip and empower the body of christ so even this video is my time and my experience and my knowledge and i'm not doing this to get likes or shares or build my own name of course you can request a personal prophecy of me you can go and watch uh, the recent personal prophecies on my home page uh, you can watch uh, the more newer ones in this uh, new office that i've got uh, and uh, you can request a personal prophecy of me if you ever get a personal prophecy of me and that uh, you donated 30 australian dollars for and it didn't hit the mark you can write to me and tell me that and i'll refund your money uh, and uh, i do that from time to time and uh, god uh, will allow us prophets to be wrong and miss it from time to time sometimes we can be moving in the flesh sometimes a demon can be moving through us sometimes we just totally miss it for some other reason uh, i found that people who uh, don't believe in personal prophecy uh, if they're a christian and they've got a religious spirit believe the gifts have stopped uh, when you try and prophesy over them they'll get what they expected a demon will speak through you and uh, i've encountered that a few times uh, that uh, god only responds to faith and if they have no faith to be blessed uh, god won't allow them to be blessed so um Plenty of lessons you can learn in the prophetic. I've got six books on the prophetic. You can go to Amazon. Uh, my link for my Amazon homepage is down in the description tag where you see the writing Seymour. Click on that and uh, read my books on the prophetic. I encourage you. Uh, I've got a prophetic Zoom class that I run on Wednesday, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I uh, encourage people uh, to grow in the prophetic gift and you're welcome to join that free class and become part of our community and two hours a week uh, practice your gift and hear people practice and be part of a growing online community of prophets and uh, that's something I do for free and I love to do and uh, they're a good group of friends and so you're welcome to come and join us there so if you're watching this and you like this uh, press the thumbs up if you didn't like it I really encourage by the thumbs down uh, press thumbs down and I'll send some angels out to get you uh, and uh, if you'd like to comment I'd love to hear your comment and what you have to say uh, tell me what you think of my new studio I haven't got the lighting completely fixed yet. I've got to get the main light in the room fixed. Uh, I encourage you uh, to write a comment. I uh, encourage you to share this with your friends. Uh, I encourage you to write to me for a prophecy. I'll get a prophetic blueprint. Um, there's no ulterior motive with me. There's no agenda with me. I hope you're blessed. Uh, if you like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you don't want to subscribe, don't subscribe. God bless you. Keep you Make his face shine upon you and may you move in the prophetic gift. God bless.